Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Strafe Shot at the Alienware Training Facility today doing some tips and tricks videos for Fortnite. All right, cool, guys. We just landed in Whaling Woods. I wanted to go over a, a certain build and a certain edit with you today. I wanted to talk about how you can alleviate a lot of pressure over your head and then kind of like solidify a certain structure so that it is uh, a lot easier to get that pressure off of you, stay alive and not take hits, uh, maybe even protect a down teammate. So the first, uh, the first thing I want to talk about is trying to survive the best you can in a one by one situation. If you have someone over your head, way above you, and they're just, just constantly raining down bullets onto you, um, and you're low on health, or you need to get, get a little bit of extra time to get off of uh, like a med real fast, a bandage, or a mini, or a, a half pot, whatever it may be, if you do a single roof here, you can see that it's pretty quick to just break through it, and then they're instantly gonna be able to hit you. So instead of doing just a roof, you actually wanna use a pyramid. And you could do it in any order. You can put the roof down first, or you can do the pyramid, it doesn't matter. Uh, but you wanna double them up. So I'll do the pyramid first, so you guys can just kinda see what that's like on the outside. So that's essentially exactly what your one by one will look like, and it makes it a lot harder for grenades to really stick where you are. So as you can see, like it just it just hits an angle, and it bounced away, and it did no damage to your one by one. So inside here, on top of that pyramid, He's gonna have to break through all this and he's gonna have to break through a floor. So if he's constantly shooting down on you, it's gonna be really hard for him to constantly like, with only 30 rounds in a, in a gun, if he has just an M16 to get down into you. So I think it's really important to utilize the, these pyramids and have them on a comfortable key bind so you can you know spam them regularly, just like that. I think that this is a really great build for beginners to really start jumping into and using a lot more because I'll always rain down from above on people and they only have a roof on their head and I break through that just so quick and then I instantly can get damage on them. So another build that we're going to talk about uh, is actually a, actually an edit in a one by one. So a lot of teammates will do this in scenarios where they want to get out quick damage. They'll just like real quickly edit out three three little triangles like this and they're exposed and they can't quickly re-edit this wall back not not easily anyway you got to really search for it and you can tell like it's it's really difficult to find it you can get it but it's really hard right so what are you going to do in a situation where you want to get make a really quick edit and get out damage really fast and then pull back that wall so you have defense again well what you really want to do is have that normal wall just like that and instead of doing the three triangles, which looks a lot like this, and yeah, okay, it solidifies your, your side a little bit, but it doesn't protect you. Instead of doing that, you wanna lo get these four bottom squares edited out instead. So now you can easily target this wall and edit it back for yourself or your teammate. So the difference looks a lot like this. You can edit quickly here. You can't edit quickly here. You're far more expo exposed as well. So it's important to note that this edit right here is definitely a lot more optimal for you and your teammates and yourself. So I think you guys can put that into practice for sure.